Now, can you also talk a bit about what are some of the key findings uh, of this report? At a high level, uh, you, you know, we've kind of identified uh, five key takeaways from this year. Uh, one being that you can be as fast, as stable, and as reliable as you want to be, uh, but none of that really matters unless you have a nice, health, healthy culture. Uh, we also see that user centricity and focusing on the user, so adopting a product mindset and letting you know the user drive uh, everything that you do, is a key indicator of successful teams and successful organizations. Um, we also looked at documentation again, which I know to some people might be uh, kind of a boring topic, but the, the, some of the findings that we have um, in the way that quality documentation amplifies technical abilities. As an example, uh, we see a 12.8x improvement in trunk-based development for organizations that have high levels of documentation quality, which I think is quite amazing. Uh, it kind of turns a maybe a boring topic on its head and, and makes it much less boring, you know, to people that are looking to improve. Um, and then, you know, we looked at flexible infrastructure, which was a highlight. And so, like previously, what we did was we kind of looked at the NIST uh, five characteristics of cloud computing. Uh, and we asked, you know, are you taking advantage of these characteristics? And we kind of used that as a proxy for using cloud. Uh, this year, what we wanted to do was we wanted to separate those things and understand, you know, what role does cloud play? What role does flexible infrastructure play? And does cloud enable flexible infrastructure? And what we found, uh, you know, as practitioners, we this is probably a, a, a kind of a no duh kind of mode. A lot of us have been talking about this for a long time, but re what really matters is how you implement cloud. Um, and if you use cloud without flexible infrastructure, you actually see a decrease in performance metrics. But if you use cloud by taking advantage of the, the characteristics of flexible infrastructure, that's kind of where you see improvement. Um, and then we also took a look at uh, individuals that identify as being underrepresented and how does work distribution uh, affect those people. Um, and so, you know, from a from a highlights perspective, uh, that's I, I would say those are kind of the the top five.